Today, we'll be learning how to configure and install Cloud Radial's Windows Desktop application. The Desktop app mirrors the same functionality as the Cloud Portal for end-users, from the convenience of their workstations, along with some added benefits that we'll cover in a bit. The first thing we'll need to do is prepare the application for launch. It's a one-time setup that makes the application look perfect for your business. Start by navigating over to Partner on the left-hand side of the Feature Sets, and then clicking on Settings at the bottom. Once there, we'll head to Account and Branding under Setup on the right-hand side. Under the second tab, Branding, we can now see a blank field for the Tray application logo. This logo must be a PNG with a transparent background and a square resolution. You can input any image, but note that it will automatically be converted to a square resolution anyways, so watch for Squish logos. Be sure to upload your logo image into the media library by clicking the button on the right. Once you click on the Media Library button, the Media Library will open. This is specific to your Cloud Radial tenant. Simply click on the Add button at the top right to add in your logo. Once you do so, you'll have the option to click on your individual image and copy the URL. Or, if we switch back to the other tab, you'll also have the ability to look it up manually by clicking the Look Up button and following through with the prompts. I already know mine, so for the sake of time I'll just paste it in. Once your portal logo is set, we'll also want to double check the login portal name. Ours is Azure of Corporate Portal, which is the internal one we use for Cloud Radial. This field is important because it's what the desktop application will be named for the end user. If you're happy with it, go ahead and click Submit at the bottom. Now we can get to the agent. Still under Partner and Settings, look for the link for Desktop Application under Configuration. You'll see a button named Build Installer that will pull together information about your tenant that you can then deploy as an agent. Let's go ahead and build it. The first time can take a few minutes. After a few minutes, we can refresh the page and see if the button text has changed. Once the installer is ready, you'll see that the text changes to Download Installer. Let's click on it and follow through with the prompts. I can see it's in my downloads here, and I'll open it up. Just accept the agreement, set the install location, by default program files 86, and choose what to name it in the start menu. We now have a desktop agent portal. The portal is responsive, so you can resize it as you like to fit your screen. There are a few additional features that the portal can do to make Cloud Radial even easier. For starters, users can click on File at the top left and Screenshot, and then Capture, to take a screenshot of everything on their screens. When they submit their next ticket, the screenshot will automatically be attached to the ticket. You can also see that there's a new bar between the portal and the file area with a couple of links in it. This is where you can create custom desktop application links for your clients. They can be links to external sites, and they can also be links to local file paths to help them open files and applications quickly from within Cloud Radial. Control of these links is handled through Partner and Settings on the left-hand side of the Feature Sets. It's under the same area as before, Desktop Application. You can see that I've already got a few loaded into this one. Clicking on the Add Link button at the top will let you configure a new link. You can choose things like Display Order, the text that show up, the actual link, and a few other options. If you add new links after deployment of the application, they'll either appear next time the application restarts, or when a user manually selects View and Refresh, which is found at the top right. Individual companies can have links added via Partner and Client. Clicking on a Partner, like Azure of Corporate, we can see that there's a new option for desktop links. It works in the exact same way, only for the individual company. Just click on the Add button and follow through with the fields. Even when users close out of the application, it will continue to run in the system tray. If they right-click on the icon running within the system tray, they'll have the options to access those same links as before, as well as opening the application back up or closing out of it completely. Be sure to configure your application correctly and test it internally before deploying it out to your clients.